Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story is brought to us by Vita. Hey Vita, she sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for a story about a magical tiara that gets stolen? <gasps> me too. Let's go. One day in the magical place of Willow Woods, it was a beautiful day, which is not surprising at all because every day is spring. I love spring. Spring is such a fun time of year where things are growing and, oh, the air smells so clean and the sun is warm. Oh, what is your favorite season? Do you like winter? Spring, summer, or fall? Yeah, I really like fall and spring. And Vita lives in a place where it's always spring. Yes, Vita is a magical fairy who lives in Willow Woods. You see, Willow Woods is a fairyland that, like I said, is always spring. And there's a magical queen that it's her job to guard fairyland. Well, today started out as a beautiful spring day, but then something terrible happened. Oh, I just love living in Willow Woods, said Vita, as she was flying around, just enjoying another gorgeous day. Wait, what was that? As she turned around, there was something strange falling through the air. It was something white and fluffy. Oh, wow, that looks beautiful. Let me go touch it. As she flew over to this white thing that was falling through the air, she touched it and, Whoa! Holy Toledo, that was cold, said Vita. That was snow. Wait a second. Does snow fall on a nice spring day? Oh no, something is wrong. Vita thought to herself. She'd never seen snow before. She'd always heard stories about it, but it never occurred in Willow Woods. Something must be wrong. She flew as fast as she could. She was on a team of other fairies that they would protect the queen's magical tiara. And on this team of ten, they had to solve this mystery. Attention, attention everyone, said Vita. I have terrible news. I just saw a snowflake falling through the air. Yeah, and I saw something strange too. There were colorful leaves, leaves that weren't green. They were red and yellow. Something is not right. The commotion from all the fairies could be heard across the entire land. Everyone was very nervous. Everyone was starting to get afraid and wonder and worry if spring had ended for good. Attention, it's going to be okay. We must go tell the queen and see what's going on. Vito led the way of all the fairies and they arrived at the castle to greet the queen. Hello, fairies, said the queen. Queen, well, there's a problem. You see, uh, something is weird with the weather. I've seen snow and, and others have seen leaves changing color, which is a sign of fall. Do you know what might be going on? The queen looked very sad. Oh no, I was worried about this. You see, yesterday, I was out and about, and then I realized that the magical tiara that I thought was on my head was gone. Someone had stolen it! Dun, dun, dun! <gasps> all the fairies gasped and looked at each other. They all couldn't believe it. Had someone really stolen the tiara? Who would do such a thing? Vita calmed everybody down. Don't worry, Queen. We will find that missing tiara and return Willow Woods back to spring. Vita gathered all the fairies together to come up with a plan. All right. I need some of you to go out that direction and retrace the Queen's steps to see if maybe she lost it. There's no way she lost it, 
said one of the fairies. Someone must have stolen it. All right, yeah, that's a possibility, said Vita. And so I need you to take a group of fairies out and ask around town to see if anyone has heard anything suspicious. And me and you two, we are going to go find the magic wishing jewel. (gasps) Everybody gasped. The magical wishing jewel was a long lost jewel that was very magical. You see, if you had this jewel, you could ask it a question and it would give you a clue of the answer. But the magical wishing jewel had been missing for a very long time. All right, we need to go split out. We're running out of time. We need to return the tiara. Fast! Everyone move out, said Vita. All the fairies split up into their different directions and the different jobs that they had. Vita and her team, they were going to go find the magic wishing jewel. How are we going to find that, Vita? I don't know, but there's a long old legend that the old crow might know where it is. You see, crows are very big birds that build very big nests. And do you know one thing they really like in their nests? They really like shiny things and i'm pretty sure a magical wishing jewel i bet that's pretty shiny so the crow is a great place to start vita and her friends flew over to the crow's nest and asked hello mr crow Ah, who's there said the crow hi this is vita and these are my fairy friends We really need the magical wishing jewel. I've heard stories that maybe you might have it. Is it in your nest? I don't know. There's a lot of things that are very shiny in my nest, but I want them all. So, hmm, if you find it, then you must trade me something shiny or... Okay, uh, all right. I'm going to start looking around the nest for it, and can you two go find something shiny to trade for it? Yes, we'll be right back. The two fairies flew away to go find something shiny to trade the crow with, and Vita was searching, searching and searching, and finally, (gasps) there it was! It was down way deep in the nest. You see, crow's nests can be very deep because they continue building the nest, and I guess this jewel had been added to the nest a long time ago. Vita flew way down deep in the nest and pulled it out of the nest. All right, um, there they are. The two fairies brought back a shiny piece of of glass that the crow would really like. Ah, okay, you can take it. Now just give me that new shiny thing, said the crow. Vita grabbed onto the magical wishing jewel and the two fairies, then they flew out of there. Magical wishing jewel, are you there? Can you help us? Vita said. You see, if you want to ask the jewel a question, you have to rub it and then you can ask a question. She rubbed the magical wishing jewel and said, where is the magical tiara for the queen? Oh, Oh my, it's been a long time. Oh, it's so good to see somebody other than that squawking crow. Hello, magical wishing jewel. The magical wishing jewel could talk. Oh, it's so good. All right, what was your question? Oh, the the magical tiara, it's missing. Do you know where it is? Yes, it's, it is in the garden. And it's in... Oh, no, it's very dirty. You best hurry, or we're running out of time. Vida and the other fairies flew as fast as they could to the garden. And there it was. The magical tear had not been stolen, but it had been lost in the garden and covered up with a whole bunch of leaves and mud. They washed it off clean and gave it back to the queen. It's a good thing because the day was running out of time. The snow had started to fall and the leaves were changing. But as soon as the queen put the magical tear back on her head, everything returned back to spring. Hooray! Vita saved the day and all of Willowwoods. Great job, Vita. And that is the end. (laughs) 
great job. You listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Alex and Maggie from California, Zan from Nashville, David and Ezra. Happy birthday! From New York, Price and Grant from Idaho, Pranav from the USA, Maya from Boston, and Gianna from Spokane. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day. I'll see you later. Bye.